What's going on, guys? Eminem Outdoors coming back to you with another bang it video. Yeah. Today we got a special one. It is goose opener and not next week, not next week, not this weekend, but the next weekend, right? Two weeks. Uh, we're gonna go over what we our setup is for a goose opener. We got a lot. Paley and Dolly are kind of fanatics with buying all this shit, and they just waste a bunch of money. So, uh, Taylor is gonna go over with it for you guys. I will turn you over to him right now. Man, you're really putting me on the spot here. Oh yeah. Well, we got the goose flapper. Um, this is Dolly's. We got this last year. It's all right. It works. I don't know what it, if it actually works or a hand flag better. It's dead know. right now. Oh, we ain't got the hand flag. What the heck? Uh, 15 footers in there somewhere. Um, basically, we'll start off with what we run most. Mostly big owls. That's our number one go-to decoy for fast setup. Getting a lot out there, getting a lot of area filled. Other than that, we have a lot of tangle-free full bodies. That's what we started off with. I think we have four or five dozen tangle-free full bodies between feeders, sentries, walkers, standards. 75% feeders, I'd say. We're running three dozen DOA sleeper shells, the stackable ones, and then we have six of the Tangle Freeze. You can see the difference there. These ones being the DOA, these ones being the Tangle Free. Personally, I like the DOA ones better. That's just me. They're just higher quality, in my opinion. Dolly just picked up some uh, Avian Xs, some full bodies the other day. He got a good deal on them. Excited to try them out and see how the bases hold up since they are the collapsible bases that go into the body so you're not taking them on and off stands. Then they just pull off and they sit there. So Tango Free Full Bodies, Avian X Full Bodies, we run Avian X floater decoys for ducks, geese, pretty much everything, teal. Yeah, we have our Lucky Duck. So this is this is a Lucky Duck brand goose. We have Lucky Duck brand duck flappers and everything else. I think we have like six of them. We have a lot of those. For blinds, I have two layouts and they're both the Shields brand. I got them for like 150 bucks a piece, pretty good deal. Now that they're all they sell is the really expensive one. I did that. <laughs> yeah, so I still did. got stuff from last year. Also, we run the Tangle Free Optifade Marsh a panel blind. We have two of these. One's here. Dustin has the other one. They're good for their own situations. I definitely wouldn't use them for everything, but it has its time and place. Last year, we also picked up two Avian X A frames. We I don't know, maybe a dozen hunts out of them, half a dozen hunts. I've been on more than you have, but it's about half a dozen hunts out of them. We hunted last year, early goose opener. We had 20 guys and we limited out with a hundred birds in just over an hour. It was a pretty sweet hunt. Didn't get any of it on camera. Wish we would have, it would have been a killer video. Yeah, so we're excited to have those more for this year for a lot of different scenarios and what we can get in and out of. We also run tangle free full body duck decoys for fields, we have field mallards in here. I think we have four dozen, and then Dolly has some pintails, widgeons, wherever they are. Did you show them Ricky? Yeah, That's what brings in the geese right there, old yeah. Ricky. Can't go wrong with Ricky. We, uh, so yeah, we kind of have the trailer empty now that we were doing all the interior lights and light bars and trailer decals and everything on it. So we kind of just have a garage full of decoys right now. <laughs> Decoys and blinds and bags and you showed Dolly's new purchase. Yeah. Woo! Avian X. They just look mean. What do you what do you pay for those? You don't want to know. <laughs> well, you, you don't to put it that way, you pay a lot of money and you still don't two, get a sticker. Two eighty for you six. Two eighty for six. They're crazy though. Look at the just look at the fine detail on them compared to like. The other full bodies over here. It's crazy how much more detail it is. Like, look at this. Look at how there ain't hardly anything. It's just gray, black, and white. And this thing has like all the feathers. This thing looks cool. A lot bigger too. You guys hunt these, you know they can't tell the difference between size and things. So you can use as big as decoys as you want. It'd be like a Trojan horse size. And over here. Old trusty rusty boss hog. Gonna be in the center of our spread for sure. Yeah. Waiters, Waiters they're hanging up. I think mine are lacrosse. Yeah. Lacrosse, just whatever brand works. 500 grain or whatever. Four. Four or eight. I have something eight. Like, something like that. We're in a drought here in Minnesota this year, so there is not a lot of water. So it's definitely gonna be a different kind of 
scenarios for this year with hunting, with what's going to be open, what's not going to be open, where we're going to be able to get into. A lot of the state lands dried up. Swan Lake is like our main area for birds around here and they drained it this year so it is pretty dry out there. There's some water you can get in with a mud motor but not a lot. Fields are dry, state lands dry, any flooded area is dry, ditches are dry. So it's definitely going to be a weird year for ducks. Um, geese I don't think will have a problem, they're still going to be main, mainly loafing on the pond here in town or the uh, quarry pit. So we shouldn't be too worried about that. This year I'll still be running my Stoger and my Benelli. For guns, Eric's got his Benelli. Declan's got his Benelli. Ashton picked up a new Franke. You guys seen that video, make sure to go check that out. Golly's got his Stoger. We'll have a couple new people hunting with us this year on and off, depending on who's home from college, who's not, given I work full time, so does Dolly. So Eric's in college around here, so. The goose is two weeks out two weeks out early teal is two weeks out and no one has put in any scouting yet so hey i scouted the pond yeah we'll see what we can find kind of watching i haven't watched a feed yet but i heard about a feed hopefully no one's on it yet we'll see how that goes yeah we're still waiting for silage to come out here sweet corn to come out here so that once that comes out within the next week or so that'll really open up areas for what we can and can't get into yeah it's kind of a big basic rundown of what we're going to be going through this season what we're going to be using we'll update you throughout the year if we get anything new what we find out works best for us i guess kind of help you guys out with some tips and tricks but yeah we'll get a full rundown once we get the trailer all set up with everything in it we'll give you a little rundown through a video of how we organize the trailer or semi-organize the trailer if you guys like this video make sure to smash the like for ricky it's all for ricky, ricky here we have rice yet from last year oh yeah here Follow me. Let's show them rice. So last year, Dusty said, Dusty's rule is if we don't shoot any ducks or geese, that he gets to shoot a decoy. When we were hunting down the backwater in Cortland, we didn't shoot any. He shot one of my wood duck decoys and it sank to the bottom of the river. Last year, we went out in the field and we shot ducks. How many did we get? Like four or five? Yeah. And we threw old rice up to him. This thing was messed up. The head's How many somewhere. He shot it like six times. We didn't shot he? it a lot. Yeah. Nice. Sits out in front of Paley's house. I had his head on a pole, but I don't know where it went. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this, smash the like button for Ricky. Hit the subscribe button. Helps us out in the long run. Don't forget to stay happy, people. We appreciate you. We out. Peace.